Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I am a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, well, I'm super excited to be hanging out with you again this week. In this video, I will be doing another cash stuffing for the final week of July. And this week, I'm going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,460. And we are going to be putting a good chunk of that into my 100 envelope challenge, which I'm so excited about. So let's jump in and start with unstuffing my wallet. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I decided to switch back to this wallet. So I'm going to scan these receipts into my Fetch Rewards app, which if you don't know, is an app where you can scan in receipts, which then turn into points and you can redeem those points for gift cards. So I will leave my referral code up here on the screen. If you decide to check it out, you will get, I believe right now it's 500 extra bonus points after you scan your first receipt. And I also get bonus points too, so it's a win-win. So let's take the change out of here. I've got a rogue pen in here. So yeah, I switched back to this wallet mostly because I like change and I like to switch things up. So I'll probably switch back to my Lux Haven wallet in the next few weeks. Who knows? I love them both. Are you guys like me? Do you like change or do you like things to stay the same? I don't like drastic change, but I do like, you know, just change every once in a while. And this flyleaf here, this is a Moterm flyleaf and you can find it, I don't know, somewhere on the internet. All right, so pet care. I'm actually going to take this envelope out. I don't know if my vlog is up yet. My goal is to get it up on Saturday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> so that's a lofty goal, but I'm going to try to get it up in my vlog. Eli and I go to Petco, so you'll have to see what we got there. So groceries, we have $5 left over. So I'm going to put that into my savings challenge. Leftover in spending, I have 10, 15, 16, 17. I started with 50, so did spend, did do some spending this week. Eating out is empty, drinks is empty. Kids has, doesn't matter, we're rolling it over. It has six, so we're gonna leave that in there. Nails had nothing. Kindness has five, so we'll roll that over. And then miscellaneous has nothing. So let's get to stuffing, and I do need to grab my cash planning notepad out of my binder here. So you're watching this on Sunday. Well, that's when it's getting posted. I guess I don't know exactly what day you're watching it, but my launch is Monday the 24th and I am so excited about it. So these are going to be available on the 24th at 10 a.m. So for groceries, I am gonna do, I'm gonna do 15 in my wallet. I budgeted 25, so I'll put the other 10 into my grocery envelope. I'm just going to set this aside too so it doesn't get in the way. And then I'm going to grab out my final 50 for spending. So we stuff this at the beginning of the month and then just pull from it throughout the month. I did have another 20 in here and I spent it yesterday i sent my husband to go get me subway and an energy drink because i was so hungry but i didn't want to stop working um eating out i'm gonna do a ten dollar bill for eating out as usual so because we didn't have any more money in our eating out envelope that's why i used my personal spending cash for that drinks i'm gonna do a twenty dollar bill Getting a little low on my stuff in the fridge so just in case kids is going to be getting let's see kids is getting a 20 i'll just put that in my wallet i mean if, if we're being honest i'm the one that's usually out with them anyway so now we have 26 in here and this is for like when they just ask for random things at the store or i mean it could be for anything it's just for fun though this isn't the money we use to take care of our children Kindness is going to get rolled over. And then miscellaneous. I did, I did do two fives. Look at me. Okay, so do the other five in our envelope. Hopefully I can remember all this random 
randomness. I usually stuff the same amounts in my wallet, so I think I'll be able to remember. So that feels good. That is ready for the week. And then next, we're going to dive right into high priority sinking funds. Okay, so for groceries, I did 15 in my wallet, so I'm going to do the other 10 in here. Cash jumping all over the place. These are like drastically different colors. Okay, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35 in grocery. Clothing is going to get its usual 50. So 100, 150, 200, 220, 225 in clothing. Household is getting 30. So a 20 and a 10. These stay pretty consistent every single week. 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 200 in household. I'm wearing a t-shirt that's tied and I'm like really worried you can see it like popping through. I don't know if you can or not. Okay. Personal hygiene. I just tucked it into my shorts. <laughs> personal hygiene is getting 30. So now it has 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 220, 230, 235 in personal hygiene. This is for our entire family. So I like to have a pretty decent amount in here. Baby Needs is getting $10. So now Baby Needs has 20, 30, 40, 45. I did just get Bristol a little potty chair because she's starting to really hate when her diapers are wet. And so I'm um, not really starting to potty train her yet. She's only, well, she'll be two in December, but 51, 20, 35, 135 in copays. But. I just set the potty out in the middle of like the house and or in the bathroom sometimes. And then after I change her diaper, I'm like, do you want to sit on the potty? And she usually will sit there for a little bit and then she gets up and moves on with her life, which is totally fine. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215 in medical. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But baby needs is mostly for diapers and wipes. That's all she really needs like extra at this point. Vehicle maintenance is getting 50, so now it has 120. So once she's potty trained, she'll basically be like a big kid and we won't need the envelope anymore, which is kind of sad. All right, 10 for Sam's Club. So now Sam's Club has 50, 70, 90, 100. I just did a cash condensing where I also talk about what's coming to the shop. So definitely go check that out. So $5 for miscellaneous. I budgeted 10, five went in my wallet, five is going in this envelope, 20, 25, 30, 35. And I've seen a lot of questions lately about duplicate envelopes that I have. So these are our sinking funds that we keep in our safe at home. And then I do have duplicate envelopes in my wallet. Okay, so now we'll do low priority. I do have duplicate envelopes in my wallet because I don't like carrying a ton of cash around with me and I don't really need to. So, all right. Eating out is, I budgeted 50. I took a 10, so that means $40. So I did a 20, you know what? I'm gonna save these, because these are nice. And these ones are not. All right, so now we have $40 in eating out for the week. Last week we spent it on pizza. So the kids wanted pizza and we were like, why not? Let's do it. We got the cash. Okay. Like I said, these sinking funds get spent more often. Oh, wait. Got 50, but I put 20 in my wallet. So we're going to do 30 in this envelope. Oh, and you know what? Oh, wait, no. Did I forget about pet care? I did. I got to do pet care before I forget. I just saw my envelope sitting there. I don't remember where it was. Pet care was after vehicle maintenance. And it's getting 30. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 70, $80 in pet care. I 
husband just bought all the dog food for the next few weeks. So, all right. My spending and Chris's spending is not getting stuffed. Home renovations is getting a 50 this week. 100, 200, 300, 354, 420, 430, $435 in home renovations. And we are going to repaint all of our walls. So some of that will be for that. Kids. Oh, I put this in my wallet. But in here we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. Right now they're like a really cool gray. So this, sometimes they look light blue and I hate it. I literally, Family Fun is getting 10. I literally got, like I thought I loved it. So then we bought like two five gallon pails like full of the paint to paint our whole house when we moved in 20 30 35 40 and family fun and then I'm like we put it all we started painting I'm like oh my god I hate this but we had all this paint so we just finished it Antonio's getting 10 50 60 70 Antonio's our little through big brothers big sisters we've been matched with him for almost eight years so we started when he was in kindergarten and now he's doing driver's ed like what the heck hockey is getting 40. So anyway, I'm going to, we're going to repaint the walls just more of like a warm gray, like really light warm gray, 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360. My husband likes colors on the walls and I do not because I change up my decor so often. So hockey rink is getting a 50. So now it has 250. We are officially halfway to our goal of 500 by October. I don't. I change up my decor all the time. Nails is getting 20. And so I like the walls to stay super neutral. So anything I decide to do looks nice. Seasonal lawn care is getting $25 this week. One hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two eighty, two hundred and eighty-five dollars in seasonal lawn care. Gifts is getting a twenty. I just got my niece her birthday present. Fifty, one twenty-five, one hundred twenty-five. Me and my sister always like joke with each other because we both hate like the bright plastic noisy toys, even though that's like what kids love. Um, although my kids never really played with that stuff. Um, they're more into like TV remotes and toilet paper rolls, but 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145 and date night. But I got her some really fun bath toys and then I did find, my sister's going to kill me, um, this like crab and it like goes like back and forth, like it's battery operated and it like goes back and forth, but I think she'll just love it. It's her first birthday. So organizing is getting a 20. 50, 70, 80, 85. But every time I'm shopping for gifts for her girls, I'll find something super obnoxious. Like there's this bright pink drum set. <laughs> so I screenshot it and send it to her. I'm like, Hazel, I just got this for Hazel. She's going to love it. And my sister was like, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. And I'm like, I can return it. She's like, still can't tell if you're being serious. And I'm like, I'm not. 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 275. Tax prep is getting 15. Um, I'm really into Montessori stuff for my kids. So we have a lot of like Montessori type toys at our house. 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, and 10. 110. So much easier to count when my denominations are smaller. Or sorry, larger. Wedding ring is getting a $20 bill. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 375 inching our way to that $500 placeholder, guys. 10th anniversary. It's getting a 50. So now it has 51, 52, $250 in 10th anniversary. So a hundred more dollars until we're officially caught up uh, with paying because we are renting an Airbnb. And so we already paid upfront for it. So this is, we've already put a thousand towards it, right? No, 800. And then it was like $1,200 for four nights. So travel is going to be getting a 50. We are going on our trip. We're going to use a different one. We're going on our trip. 51, 52, $210. My husband and I 
are driving down to Texas. Um, it's like a 12 hour drive at the end of this month. So that's why I chose to have my launch when I'm having it. Cause I didn't want to wait until September or August, but I wanted to give myself enough time to get as many orders out as I can. I just no, don't know how many orders I'm going to get. So I don't know if I'll be able to get them all sent out. Cause I still have to send out all those a A6 chic wallets. So that's like 140 orders right there. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I can get them all out call in some help. Valentine's Day is getting a five. So we have 50, 70, and five. Easter is getting a $5 bill. So now it has 55. So condensed. I love it. Fourth of July is also getting a five. So $10 for 4th of July, 2024. Halloween is getting a 20. So now we have 100, 150, 170, $190 in Halloween. I asked Liam what he wanted to be for Halloween yesterday. He's like, do I have time to think about it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving is getting a five. I was doing my like cash planning last night, 50, 60, 65. And I was planning how much to do for Halloween and it just made me think of it. So I was like, you have plenty of time to think about it. I just want to know if 200 is going to be enough or if I need to save more or I just don't know. I've never budgeted for Halloween before. Black Friday is getting a 20. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310. $310 in Black Friday. My goal is 500. So Anything we don't use from Black Friday will roll over to Christmas. So $1,000 saved up already for Christmas. This is a placeholder to signify I have that money. Most people put it in the bank. I will spend it if I put it in the bank. So I keep it in a separate binder. Um, and we are adding 50 this week to Christmas. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 450. The risk of me spending it just doesn't outweigh the, you know, six dollars I might earn an in interest if it was in my savings account I'm not going to put it into our high yield because it's I'm not worried about it so New Year's Eve is getting ten dollars I'm more concerned right now with making sure I'm not overspending and that I'm planning ahead than I am with interest once we're debt free I'll start worrying about all of that stuff 50 70 80 85 which according to my calculations will be by the end of this year. So that's really exciting. Birthday parties, and I'll do a whole video on it, don't worry. Birthday parties is getting $20. It's still on my list, guys, still on my list. 100, 200, 300, 320, 40, 60, $360 saved up for birthday parties. Our birthday parties are all clumped up in the fall and winter and kind of in the spring. Back to school is getting a 50. We are still going hard with this one. I'm gonna have to start getting uniforms ordered soon. So 500, 600, 657, 710, $715. And I think anything left over in back to school that I have, I'm gonna put in our hockey envelope. So spring is getting $5. So now it has 20, 25, 30. Summer is getting a 20. So now it has 50, 70, 80. Just for any random summer activities. This is like family activities, just specific for the season. Fall is getting $5. So now it has 45. Fall is my absolute favorite season. And then winter is my second favorite. Spring is my third favorite. And summer, I despise. Winter is getting $5. I really don't hate summer that much, but 20, 25, 30. I just don't like heat. And I don't like the fact that there's no, really no routine in the summer. Other than that, I love summer. Seasonal decor is getting me 20. So 50, 70, 80. It's basically me saving up to go to Hobby Lobby and get a bunch of Christmas decorations. <laughs> and home goods, because they've got some good stuff too. All right, that's it for holiday sinking funds. Next, I am going to do my savings challenge binder with what I have left in my wallet. So we had 10, 15, 20, 
$21 and $22. So let's start with the $1 savings challenge. And if you're curious how much I have in here, check out my Instagram because I do post updates where I count this money to see how much we have saved up total. So then for $5, I'm gonna see if my Sharpie pen works on here because that's all I have right now. So I'm adding two fives to this one. And this is almost filled up, which is so exciting. Check it out, guys. As if I didn't love my Sharpie pen enough. Hopefully it doesn't smear. Oh no, my zipper broke. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about that later. All right, it's getting too full. I've stuffed it too full. All right, and then for the $10, we are adding a 110. These are some of my favorite reels to film is counting this cash because it's always fun to see how much has accumulated. $10 bill in the back here is making it hard to put all these in because it's so crinkled up. All right, and then that's our progress on the $20 savings challenge. All right, and then we're gonna wrap this thing up with, I already have these pre-planned, my 100 envelope challenge. You guys always ask me if I keep track of my sinking funds and how much money I have in them. The answer is no, because I can't even keep track of my 100 envelope challenge and marking off the ones that I've done. So these are all the ones that we're going to do. I'm just going to go in order based off of how I have them here, which I don't think is in order of like biggest to smallest or anything. So the first one we're going to do is 56 and I did a 50 and a 10. So I rounded up to 60 for this one. So I normally stuff around $400 a week. And this is to pay off our student loans before interest is staring us in the face. So I'm trying to save up as much as I can. 44, I believe, yeah, two 20s and a five for this one. So that's roughly $1,200 a month that we are putting towards our student loans, which is more than what our monthly payment is, but Trying to get her done, guys. So a 50 and a 20 for 71, so I rounded down for this one. So I'm stuffing a total of 405 between rounding up and down for some of these. I just wanna be able to reuse these. A $10 bill for number nine. And this 100 envelope challenge set is from Lux Designs. I will link it in the description as always. And this cash tray is from Funs and fun on Etsy. Absolutely love her. So 39, I did two 20s to make 40. Eighty-one. I did a fifty, a twenty, and a ten. I should see what I have left in my 100 envelope challenge and if it's possible for us to finish it by, I think payments resume in October. I don't even know the exact date. I thought it was October, then I thought it was August and now I heard it's October again, I don't know. We're just gonna like put our head down and just like power through this. 68, I am doing 70, so 50 and 20. Oh my God, send help. 30. And then for 32, I rounded down to 30. Could have rounded up to 35, but we're still stuffing 405 instead of 400. So my stomach is growling. I'm so hungry. All right, well, there you go. So eight more envelopes filled up this week to finish our 100 envelope challenge. Well, it's not finished, but we're on our way to finishing it so that we can pay off our student loans. 
faster or pay off as much as we can while we still don't have interest on them. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.